All right, guys, my name is Gus, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what a Eoso Z88 looks like. Unboxing it. Uh, this was $18.99 on Amazon. The, probably the cheapest uh, mechanical keyboard you can get, and it should be a 75%, which is pretty interesting. My main keyboard is the Keychron K2. Um, you can watch my sound clip of that if you'd like. I also play it in a comparison to this keyboard later in the video, but uh, let's get started. All right. He's inside some uh, nice bubble wrap here. Very nice. All right, so other than the keyboard in the box, you get some extra switches. Key switch puller, key cap puller. Um, not the most ergonomic design. These switches actually feel pretty good. Um, these are the red linear variants. Um, we'll see how it sounds. Yeah, also there is a detachable cable that comes pre-attached. Not super stoked with that. It's like super thin in there. I don't know if you can see that. Like there's not a lot of room between, between the bottom of the keyboard and where you actually plug it in. But it does give you some nice channels here. So you can run it straight out or you can go left to right. That's pretty nice. There's also some feet on the bottom here. It's like you only get one level of adjustment, but those click very nice. Hopefully that will uh, be gone once we fill it up. Alright, let's do a side-by-side -side test here between the Keychron, which has Gateron Pro Browns, and this one, which has some dust-resistant reds. Wow, that's actually a crazy difference. This one has like a, like a resonant ping. I think you can hear that. Okay, um, keyboard has a metal plate. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little um, chamfered edge there. I'm gonna pull one of these keycaps off. There's two materials in there, but uh, it doesn't look like they're like mended together. It looks like it's an insert almost. The switch. Looks pretty standard. Let's see how well this polar works. Not that bad, actually. It's got north facing LEDs. Um, keyboard does have backlighting, but it is, and it's RGB, but it is not adjustable. Each row has its own defined color. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. Like a glowing. Back and forth. Oh, uh, here we go, some snake action. Oh, oh, that's weird. Okay, so you get a few different lighting options. Honestly, I would prefer it just be one solid color the whole time. I'm gonna grab a Echo Rose Red and see how just the switch will make it sound here. Okay, I got my Echo Rose Red. Uh, pretty standard cheap switch, and it does fit into this socket here. All right, let's see. Wow, that's actually huge. I want to see what I can do with the stock switches first. All right, so this is Gus from the future here, and uh, spoiler alert, it's quite a bit. And then if I can't, if they can't be saved, I'm going to be putting my rose reds in here. And no, I'm not going to take these stock switches apart. I'm going to. Stick this super lube in there. This will be linked in the description. Okay, this is a stock red. Then a lubed red. It's actually lost a lot of sound. More thocky with the rose red. All right, let's get into modding. 
All right, so as you can or cannot tell, this is my first time doing something like this. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos and I've been in the keyboard scene for a while, but I've never actually taken apart a pre-built and tried to upgrade it. Um, so I have this foam here and it's really way too thick. I don't know what I was thinking. I saw, watched a couple videos online, people shove it in, it sounds good after, makes it thock. Yeah, well, stick to the tape, it does just as well and there's no way that I could fit the tape and the foam in the case, as you'll see in a second. All right, so here I'm doing the classic good old dielectric grease on the stabs. Um, this actually did quite a bit for him. Um, as you'll see, once I'm done, it uh, doesn't rattle anymore. So I know I said I wasn't gonna take these switches apart, but it just still pinged so bad I had to. I, I tested it on one switch and after looping, the ping was totally gone, so here I go. Again, this is my first time doing something like this, and uh, beginner's tip, if you're gonna do something like this, I would recommend getting one of those fancy little tools that automatically pushes the switch apart because this screwed up my fingers. Before you say anything, yes, I am bag lubing the stems. It sounds fine, just wait till the end of the video. I think this turned out pretty good. Uh, in the future, I'm probably gonna get some keycaps and maybe some Akko purple lavender switches. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you wanna see more like this. Thanks.